Good morning, guys. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. <laughs> Perfect. So, what are you doing? Are you playing? She's playing with her castle right now. It's uh, about nine o'clock, and Jess and I both slept horribly last night. I didn't end up going to sleep till almost 3 a.m. Um, and then I got up around five ish, 4:35, and Jessica wasn't in bed. She was down here eating cereal. Um, so I don't think she was sleeping very well. So it was just a weird night for false facts last night. <laughs> Neither of us slept well at all. I don't know what was going on. Um, but she's still sleeping right now, I think, because she was up for most of the night. Um, and Gigi and I are downstairs playing. I got coffee going. And this boy is in desperate need of attention. Watch. Then, hello, mate. So, yeah, play much. Bye bye, stairs. Going up and down the stairs. Bye bye, Miss Elena going downstairs. What did you want to watch? News. Okay, we can watch the news. <laughs> Today we don't have a babysitter, and so um, since Jess is sleeping in, which is totally fine because she needs to, because I know that feeling of not getting enough sleep, and it's awful. So while Jess is uh, still sleeping, I'm going to go grab my laptop upstairs and probably answer some work emails and stuff down here. Um, and that'll be good. And then I know Jess needs to edit Vlogmas this afternoon. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a weird day. <laughs> Dang nabbit. Come on. <laughs> I tried to pour this bag of pita chips in here and it just, just overflows. Just, just enough to where I can't close the lid. <laughs> So I have to put like two handfuls back in the bag, keep the bag until we run out of it, and then use that. Oh, come on guys, you couldn't have made this just a little bit bigger? Ah, oh, just forget it. <laughs> okay, so the NBC Nightly News does this thing that's the Nightly News Kids Edition, and it's actually Lester Holt that hosts it, or that anchors it. And I think it's such a cute idea. I just love this idea that they do this special nightly news for kids. But it'll come on and I'll hear it in the background usually, and they almost always have like some sort of expert on and kids ask questions. So like, very soon. What does all this mean? We know you have a lot of questions, so let's get straight to them. So they have them come up and they have these kids ask questions. <laughs> and I swear, even though this is the kids edition, almost every question they ask is like one that I'm like, oh, I actually really want another answer to that too. So I don't know if that means that I have the mind of a child. I don't know, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. It just makes me laugh that I'm like, actually, I would also like to know the answer to that question, please, the adult in the back of the room. <laughs> Okay, so here's like a question. So I'm like stuff like that. It just makes me laugh because like I'll hear that in the background. Usually I just have the news on and <laughs> I hear that I'm like, actually, yeah. Well, what is the answer to that question? <laughs> I just picture being in like a room full of adults. <laughs> And like kids are up in the front and like there's some sort of specialist up at the front and the kids are asking questions and the adults are back like, <clears throat> yeah, uh, if you could uh, answer that question for the kids, for the kids, not for me. I just, but uh, if you want to answer that question for the kids. <laughs> oh, anyway, all right, I'm making myself laugh. <laughs> also, for those of you who are also childlike in your wonderment, uh, the answer was that it's only, it's like less than 50% effective if you only do the first shot and they don't know how long it's even going to last because they didn't test it because it's a two-part shot. So they didn't even test how it would be if you got one. So get both shots. That easy. Little Miss Gigi's trying to bring her little white noise machine. <laughs> she unplugged it though. <laughs> she said, can we bring this downstairs? I'm like, uh, well we can, but it's not gonna work. It has to be plugged in. Mommy will do that part though. Mommy will do the plugging in, okay? No, no, Genevieve, no. Okay, it is time to clean our duvet. I try to do it once a month, give or take. Um, and we've got some clean sheets on, so we probably should have done this at the same time, but, but well, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off and clean it. It is like the best feeling in the world. And then the cover under, or the actual duvet, which is, you know, under this cover, 
I don't wash quite as often because I don't, you know, obviously it's protected from like general dirt, but I do still wash maybe every other time because obviously it can still get dirty and dust mites, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, oh, it's going to be a really good feeling having this clean. Panoke, what are you talking about? It's like 1245 in the afternoon. It's like, I know, but I'm hungry. Oh, no, key boy. Um, so Jessica's upstairs editing Vlogmas right now. Um, and so I was thinking Gigi and I can make our world famous Thin Mint Cookies where you do the melted chocolate with peppermint on Ritz crackers. It is unbelievably good. It's so easy. Um, so I'm going to start get the, getting this melted here and then uh, Gigi can help me put it all together and actually make the cookies. Ooh, I might do pretzels too. That sounds good. Uh, and then I'm watching uh, Rick Steves Europe because Rick Steves is my spirit animal. And <laughs> it's like my favorite show of all time. It, uh, for those of you that don't know all the travel stuff on my channel, basically was inspired when I was a kid by Rick Steves. I'm like, well, I just want to do exactly what he does for a living. And so <laughs> that's how I started my travel channel after uh, Jess started her beauty channel. She's like, you should start one. I'm like, well, what did I do? And I'm like, travel. That's what I've always wanted to do. And so that's how it all got started. But this man right here is the OG, the best, the one and only Rick Steves. Okay. What you making? So, those little things I was talking about in yesterday's Vlogmas, the little fold-it things. Hey, I didn't realize I got sweet Hawaiian. I have oh. not upset about this. I know. So, what I've done is I took, like, deli meat, like the kind you can get that's already cooked, um, that's, like, grilled chicken. It's in the fridge, not the freezer one, although you can totally do it. Anyway, put those on there, and then I'm going to throw a little bit of cheese and a little ranch, because uh, that's going to make it delicious. Uh. And then you just fold it, baby. Are you going to eat it cold, or are you going to warm it up? I already warmed it up. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. So I might throw it in the microwave just a little bit longer to melt this cheese. Mm. Put a little bit of ranch. You don't need a lot of either, which is kind of nice, but it gives gives it that delicious flavor. A little pizzazz. Yeah, uh, and that's it. And it's going to be the best little lunch you've <laughs> ever had. That's all. So if you're someone that ended up buying a StoryWorth subscription for someone in your life, I uh, can link the video below where I talk about it. I'm not going to get in too deep right now. But I made this PDF so that we can give it to the people in our lives we are giving it to uh, at Christmas, something to give them so that they know what it is. And so I made this and then I got some of the FAQs from the site and put it on there too. So if you want this PDF, it's generic enough, I can have Tyler put it on his website so we can link it below. <sighs> I just worked out upstairs. Look at my hair, guys. Somebody send help. I need to shower and wash my hair. Anyway, uh, just worked out up here. Never really thought to, but I have the space. And of course I have my like TV here, so... I did MK Fits. Uh, if your heart's broken, do this workout video. My heart is not broken, but if yours is, you would like this workout. Uh, also, it was just a really good song. So that was great. I just burned like 200 calories while I was waiting for uh, footage to import. <laughs> did you guys work out today? You're allowed to take a day off here and there because obviously we didn't work out yesterday, but anyway, yay. Okay, today is definitely one of those days where I do not feel like working out, but I'm going to. So I'm gonna get my shoes on. I'm gonna do a bike ride here for like 30 minutes. Maybe a little longer if I'm feeling good, which I don't think that I will, but you never know once you get going. So I'm gonna do that, and here we go. <laughs> All right, so Tyler was actually gonna make some cookies today, but basically we were kind of looking at what we needed to get done today, and it made more sense for me to do it, because Vlogmas is live, it is done. So he's working out currently, and I'm gonna knock this out because Gigi is napping, so it's a really good time uh, to do it. And... Really, what we wanted to do, the one thing, if I only get one thing done cookie-wise today, I wanted to make my Thin Mints. I make every year. It's a, like Murphy family tradition, my family tradition, and it's really, really easy. So I'll show you how to make that. And then if I have time, we might do some chocolate-covered pretzels or and or some basically homemade tag-along cookies where you use a Ritz cracker, put peanut butter on top, and dip it in chocolate. Those are some of my favorites. Those are the, Both the Thin Mints and the tag-alongs are dangerous for me to have because... I could sit and eat like 30 of them, but we're gonna see how it goes. Also, I'm repping a Ravenclaw sweatshirt. I can link it below, although it's from the site Billy Bijou, and I don't think she's selling these right now, but I, there are a lot of different ones like this on Etsy too, so just saying. And the nice thing is that Tyler got this all set up for me, so I'm ready, I'm ready to go. That was so nice. First things first, I got some dark chocolate melting wafers. I'm just doing half the bag to start with. That way, if I screw anything up, I haven't used the entire bag because things can go very wrong when you're working with chocolate. <laughs> All right, so the chocolate is melted. I have some peppermint oil I put in it. Um, I always start really small and then do taste tests because you obviously can't remove the mint if you go overboard and you can definitely get too minty with this. 
And all you do is dip it in the chocolate and then I use a fork because you can really drain some of the chocolate off of it. And then just put it on wax paper. That's it, they'll just dry. At room temp, you can put it in the fridge, in the freezer, and they last forever in the freezer and they are absolutely just as good, if not better than Girl Scout cookie thin mints. And you can also put like little sprinkles on them if you want and decorate them. And I'm throwing on a little bit of sprinkles and they're gonna be so good and I'm watching Home Alone too. <laughs> All right, another one I like to do are these like tag along. So we just put peanut butter on top of the Ritz cracker. Now, of course this chocolate, it did in a different bowl. It does not have mint in it. It's just the chocolate as it is. And then same thing, you just kind of stick them on the wax paper to dry and these are so good and they also freeze really well. Okie dokie, I didn't want to do it, but I did it. So I did 50 minutes on our bike. Glad I did it. Also, I've realized, also don't pay attention to our <laughs> wrapping mess over here. It's still a mess, obviously. Uh, but I've realized for me, one of the biggest uh, factors is if I have something good to watch on TV. And so I've been doing, uh, I've been working out while watching Shameless, which is a Showtime show. It's on Netflix too. Definitely uh, not safe for the whole family, but it's a really good show. And so I'm like, I'll do like a 50 minute workout if I know I'm watching something good. So Definitely a love that show, uh, but if you need motivation, maybe find a really good show that you know you want to watch every day, and that'll help give you the uh, impetus to get going on your uh, workouts. All right, so the pretzels are all done. They need to dry through sprinkles on most of them, and then, like I said, we've got the peanut butter tag-along cookies, and then the mint ones. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat these. Look at how cute this little guy is. I found him at the store the other day when we were there, and I think he was like $10. And a little, he's just, whoa, be careful, Jess. A little wax melter that plugs in. And so it's kind of out of the way, like little toddlers can't really reach it, which is nice. But then we can have our bathroom smelling nice down here because this is the bathroom that like, you know, in normal times guests would use. So I love it, it's so cute. All right, so these are some of the new ones now that we finally used up all of our little wax melts. I don't know how many of you guys even care. It's a big deal in my life. <laughs> So these are two new ones we got at Meyer. Sugar pine smells like balsam and fir type scents, but it's a little bit sweeter. Like it's just slightly different. It smells so good. And then apple cinnamon swirl smells like kind of like cinnamon baked goods, but not so baked goodsy that it's like makes you nauseous. Maybe I'm alone in this. I don't think that I am. I just feel like there's certain scents when it comes to candles and wax melts and stuff that there's, if they're too much like a real baked good, I'm like, oh, like smelling it throughout the day, I'm like, I can't, it's too much. So that one was a good, like it's like cut with the cinnamon, so it's not quite as sickeningly sweet. Maybe that's the term for it. Also, I told you I was watching Home Alone 2, and <laughs> I love this part, oh my gosh. Uh, Cliff, bony bat, what does he call him? Cliff? I don't know, okay, I'm just butchering it. Anyway, uh, you was smooching with my brother. <laughs> Anyway, what am I saying? Oh, if you had to pick Home Alone 1 or Home Alone 2, which is your favorite? I am so curious because I don't know that I can pick. Home Alone 2 is my favorite for so long, but Home Alone 1 is just so classic and I just don't think I can pick. They're just both so good on their own, like in their own right. Oh, I just love it. I cannot believe I haven't talked about this yet in Vlogmas. So this is something from my childhood that we had and my oldest brother Don made this when he was like in high school I think my mom wrote on the bottom yeah yeah 91 I was like two years old he made this and my mom when we were kids used it like during advent and she would say uh you know baby Jesus is going to be born on Christmas day so he wouldn't be out just sitting like he is right now and she had these little like Easter straw grass things and every time we did a good deed we could put a straw in there but if we did a bad deed we'd have to take it out so like if I'm yelling at my brother Michael or whatever but the idea was that you have to be extra good so that there's a really comfy bed of straw for Christmas morning when baby Jesus is in the little crib manger thing so I thought that was adorable and my parents gave it to me my sister had it for a while and now I think her husband made a different one and so it's been passed on to me. And guys, I sobbed when my mom gave me this. It's so special. Obviously, Genevieve doesn't quite get the idea behind that. So I didn't worry about getting straw this year. But I definitely need to get something. So let me know if you have any recommendations for what we could use that's safe with the kid. I, I remember like it was like that Easter straw. And I think that would work fine. I just need to get some. Uh, my mom said she didn't have any anymore. So 
that is uh, definitely gonna be started probably next year with her. But for now, little baby Jesus just sitting in the little crib and it's so cute. Well, a very good evening to you all and welcome to the cutting board. I am going to show you guys, we're doing cauliflower for dinner tonight, and I was gonna show you guys when I get ahead of cauliflower how I cut it up. And I don't know if this is actually the best way to cut it up. Um, there might be another method out there somewhere. Um, I mean, I'm sure there is, but let me show you what I usually do to get it from the head of uh, cauliflower. Did I say broccoli a second ago? Maybe I said cauliflower. I don't know, I'm losing my mind. I'm gonna show you how I cut up a head of cauliflower. Here we go. Okay, so I've got two bowls here, one for compost and then one for the actual florets at the top when they're done. So I start by taking it and trying to get, you can see here where the leaves and the stem, where this kind of starts here. So I'm gonna take my knife here. You're gonna want a really big knife so you can get through the whole thing here. Start by cutting off the stalk down there at the bottom, as close to the bottom as you can. That's gonna take off most of that leafy green right off the top. Ah, that was loud, sorry. <laughs> That's gonna take off most of that there. It's still gonna be a little bit around. So what I'm gonna do, you can either just pull them off like this. If they're a little bit further up, you might need to cut them off. So the goal is to get rid of all the leafy stuff there around the edges until you're left with just the head of bro broccoli. I said it again. Until you're left with just the head of cauliflower here, a little bit there, uh, and then the stem. So now next thing I do is I take my knife and I cut straight through the entire thing. Make sure you don't cut your fingers, give yourself a little claw there around like that so you have a little uh, leeway there with your hand. Now you have two halves here. And at this point, I'm going to take my knife and in a triangle here, like so, cut out that stem. So now the stem is out, same on this guy here, starting up at the top where you can see it sort of naturally arches there and cutting down in a triangle-like formation. <laughs> And you can pull that out, and there's your core gone. And then at this point, you can pull it apart a little bit there, and you can basically cut through any of the stuff that you don't want. So you can go around here, depending if you want these just the little tiny florets, if you like them around that size, you can cut them, or you can cut them back a little bit further into the core and have them that size, a little bit bigger. Um, and then if these are too large for you, you can also just slice them right down the middle, just like so. Some of them are gonna be easy enough to pull off and then just get rid of any stem you don't want there. So you can see here, if you look in there, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but you can see this is just a little bit there of the, uh, the core holding all this together. And so if you just start cutting this off, you'll see they'll start to look like the little florets that you've come to know and love as cauliflower. <laughs> There you have it, there's your uh, cauliflower florets. Again, I don't know if that's the best way to do it, but that's the way I always do it. So now you have a method if you ever want to do it that way. Or you can tell me a better way. <laughs> what do you need help with, Gigi? Okay, I will help. Come on, let's play. Okay. I'm playing game, guys. You want to do the fire? You want them to go in there? Okay. Okay. I got a ding dong. Oh, at the front door, we can do ding dong down here. All right, you be the boy, I'll be Daniel Tiger. Ding dong. Oh, okay. You can mommy. open the door. Ding dong. Anyone home? Daniel Tiger. And Daddy Shark. And Daddy Shark. Daddy Shark. He's downstairs. He's oh, downstairs. he's downstairs. How about Prince Wednesday comes? I don't know. Okay. Let's go. Let's go in the house. Hmm. 
going in now. Come on, Gay Gay. Come on. In gone. Go in gone. Hello, who's there? So what do you want to do today? Ding dong! Ding dong? Got a ding dong at the door. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on, day day. Day day for Wednesday. That's cute. Um, it's the next day. We totally <laughs> forgot to say goodbye last night. <laughs> I literally, yeah, I, I was, we were sitting, I'm like, did we film anything last night? <laughs> and then we were like, we're too tired. So, yeah. hello and goodbye. It's the next day. Hi, and we've got... And we're already That's rocking and rolling right. on the next day. A busy, yeah, we are. So we sourdough. love y'all. Sourdough, sourdough. That's what Just to look forward ready. to. That's kind of fun. We can give them a sneak peek because we've already lived part I of it. Filmed a decent amount of it. Yeah. So get ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bread, 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 okay, bread. Bye.